casting surface. Casting surface really have lots of anomaly, right, in a, a mess area, right. So uh, it sometimes does not capture the uh, bad models, right, according uh, in a in a way that it have to capture. Like uh, sometimes the view is not captured properly, or sometimes those small areas are not captured by the software automatically because casting is a is an automatic messing algorithm right? in order to overcome that once a land manager is used so let's create a custom surface first okay so in order to create a casting surface go to the mid surface over here and then casting and extrude them and from there create a minimum what, what is the minimum thickness of this one of your CAD model okay Okay, uh, this one brings out the node. Okay, if the node is not visible, then just select this one and it will be visible. Now we need to select a uh, uh, measurement. Okay, you know, measure distance. What is the minimum distance? going to use okay press ok it is creating a casting surface at this time right as uh, it will create a casting surface of the whole part automatically so it will take some time now as we can see that there is a past surface already created now Okay, it is automatically created all by using the software. There is not even a single intervention done by the user. Okay. Now we are going to assess what types of surface it has created and what types of mess it is. In order to do that once, we are going to switch off the add model. Yeah, this is a main surface. So here we can see that the surface are really distorted. Okay, it is not what we have desired. There is lots of parts in this one, like over here. Um, it have created a hollow surface over there, but it is not actually a hollow surface. Because I will show you over here. Okay, look, uh, this one is actually a solid part. Very, very small. Very small part is a hollow one. And the remaining are the solid parts so we are going to make a correction in these types of ribs right? and only these two ribs are I think is correct is correctly captured by the software uh, all others have a lot more default and we have to correct it manually by using the land manager the land manager is very helpful tools in order to correct the surface which is created by the custom method okay guys now we are going to use a land manager so go to the mid surface from the faces right mid surface and then go to the land manager after going into the land manager select the areas Okay. After selecting areas, it will, uh, it colors turns out to be blue, right? And after that, once 
click on this one right and then we have a different options now uh, what types of uh, um, plane area or surface is that one so that is what we have to define so if that is a plane then select plane okay after selecting plane now uh, look uh, this is a surface uh, which I have created manually right uh, this was not distorted but I distorted it manually by using the same options that I'm going to use to align it with that models so let's see how to use this feature line constraint and cells in this case we are going to use a line constraint and for that once you have to select the surface to which you want to uh, align with the tag models select after selecting this one go to the next one and uh, there is two options uh, whether to use the points right uh, by selecting random points not random points actually uh, the points along with which you want to align the models like this one and this one okay now this surface will be aligned uh, along with this circle okay like this circle let's see how it will be aligned okay see right so this is how it will be aligned using the points method now the next method that we are going to use is phase one select next after selecting the surface and to what you want to align select face now as you can see that uh, this surface is over here but this one is over here and actually this is not what will happen uh, when using a casting method and this is uh, created by me uh, so uh, don't be so silly right okay uh, just if you face some kinds of problem you can use the line manager to use uh, to solve your problems right in this way and this is the way you can do it so uh, let's select the faces along with which you want to align it you have to select two faces okay now you are seeing that um, circles are um, properly in the middle of these two space this surface will be um, brought over there so let's see okay it is aligned right so in this way you can use plane of the align manager now let's see how to use offset right click right click okay after right clicking you will get new then click on the offset okay after clicking on the offset you will get this one aligned constraint in this case i am going to use this one okay select the surface after selecting the surface go to the next right now you will be asked to select the two surface along which you want to offset this one okay now we want to offset this one between the these two surface right after selecting these two surfaces now move to the next one so you 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 have to give a distance right so offset offset distance now there is two types of offset distance that we have to take care of that select point to define thickness this one half thickness and thickness half thickness means it will take a middle part right uh, half on both sides and uh, and it, it, even at this time you have to define the you have to define a distance so take a measurement between these two nodes okay important things to notice is that uh, you always take a distance which is the maximum width of any fillet okay or do you like uh, this one and this one if you take these two distance then this one will be the very minimum distance right and this is not the actual thickness of the rib so after measuring this distance which is one store it and then write one over here we are going to keep thickness and then select finish as it was already aligned and I did nothing over there so it is perfectly as it is okay so the only purpose of showing uh, showing the use of offset is that you can use it okay 
without any hands or hindrance. As you can see that there is a distorted maze at the bottom of this cylinder, right? Because the upper part of the cylinder was hollow types and the lower part of the cylinder was solid types. And the casting algorithm got confused to have to do over here. In this case, what we can do is we can use O junction, which is really great one. Auto sometimes doesn't work, right? So we are going to use how to do this one manually. In this one, what we what we will do is we are going to create a 3D hexamesh, right? Of patterns, you know, solid uh, solid types of pattern, cylindrical array. So in order to do that once, first uh, we are asked to make a pop axis point, which we have not created. So in order to create those access points, we have to go back here in Topo and go to on CZ and edges, bring back the CAD model. Have to do it. So we are going to create the CG over here. It's select and create CG, which you can see over here. Okay. In a similar way, we have to create CG one over here. Then press middle mouse button. Okay, CTRL and shift will show you the wireframe view, and you can rotate it out. Okay, now uh, we are going to create one more points over here at the center of this circle. At this circle. Now, as we have three points, we are now ready to create O junction using the land manager. So, here we are in the O junction. As you can see, that uh, this is a whole part, right? From Hatch means we can see that and this one is the whole part, right? So we don't need to create a hexamesh over here, but we have to create a hexamesh uh, below this one up to here. So, what do we need to do is first project these hot pants over here, otherwise. Um, Okay, that is one way to measure height or split the surface. Otherwise, um, there is other way too. So we are going to throw that one. First, uh, select this point, which is the top access point. Then second, select the second bottom access point. Okay. This one define the direction of the cylinder. So be careful about selection. Next part, we are going to define the radius, which we don't know. Radius of this one, top. So, how would you do that one? You can do by measuring. Take the measurement from this node to these points. Okay, and this uh, this measurement is taken from any plot. So this one is the absolute measurement. Now you can store this one. In a similar way, you also need to define the radius of bottom part. So it's better to measure. Store it. Now we have our radius. Next thing that we are going to do is define the radius, which is this one. 
minutes bottom radius is 3.29 and press next okay one more things that i would like to say and this is really very important if you miss this point then you uh, face an error like this hexamis will not be uh, produced right and you will get stress by creating, uh, doing this one often and often and uh, failing to create a hexamis so just be careful over here what you need to do is to bring all the mess back after bringing the mess back okay now you are asked to select the face or three points okay select either three points on that face or or directly select the face so in this case i am going to select the face uh, which one which is this one okay it is better more that one now we are going to select a face okay now we are able to select a face at this time now bring the mess back okay now we are going to um, create or finish the surface watch over here as you can see that a hexamesh is created over here so this is how you can create a hexamesh okay. now for the ribs which have a solid uh, part right but there is also a defect in this one like okay, for example remove this body and now you can see that uh, there is no uh, upper part of the of the rib, right? In that case, we have to treat uh, this upper part of the mesh, um, upper part mesh uh, of that rib, that whole rib. So in this case, we are not going to do that one, but you have to do that one. Okay? In a similar way, you can also uh, make a hexa mesh for this one and create a upper cube part because this one will be removed. Okay, means once you create the hexa mesh, uh, this part will be removed automatically. So in that case, you have to create by cutting the uh, surface up. Means what I mean is, you can create, uh, you can cut this part here into half. By cutting this one, you can just use the offset. The offset method will help you offset the upper part into the middle wall, in, into the middle portion. Okay? In this way, you can offset this one. Now the next part that we are going to see over here is middle, right? Uh, from the mid surface, and mid surface area okay and middle middle is same as the offset one but the only thing is uh, only difference in the middle is that it is more like offset okay uh, it is also a middle part of any surface suppose that this one is a middle part right so there is no any things different right in this case select next select body part select uh, first group which is this one now select next in the similar way select next body now as you have selected this one you can press finish so this is uh, same as offset but the difference is that you can create multiple uh, surface at one time right in using this middle middle options because uh, you have like then select this one, this one, and this one, and go to the next, and then select first group, which is this one, this one, and then again this one. In the next group, here comes you select in a sequence space, select in a way that you have selected the first group. This one, this one, and last. This one. Now we can press on and finish over here. Got it right so in this way you can make use of the align right now in the next video we are going to see how to use parameters right parameter is really very important 